Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to The Paint Itself. Okay, so in today's video, I was going to share with you a completed painted pedestal table. If you happen to watch my last video, you'll know what I'm talking about. So anyway, what had happened was I was browsing on my phone on Facebook Marketplace, as I do often. As I do often. It's sort of an obsession at this point, I think. So anyway, I was looking on there because you never know what you're going to find. And we have been looking for furniture for this house. Yes, we have a lot of furniture, but I've been swapping it out um, because pieces just are the wrong size, the wrong color. I'm changing my style. So it's fun to just get rid of things you don't love anymore, swap them out and get new things or new used things in this case. So anyway, I was looking on there and I found the most amazing score. Now, you know I've shared a lot of scores with you, a lot of great finds. Even in my last video, a dumpster dive find, totally free. That was a score. This is even better, in my opinion. So let me explain. First, let me explain that I have not brushed my hair today, but we're going to pretend like I did because I'm working around the house. I have to run out and run some errands. I have to pop into one of my little favorite places that's only open on Wednesdays and Fridays. Might take you along with me there and see if we can find anything. Then I have to run to the gym and pick up a few things while I'm out. So today's, it's hot. I'm just kind of, anyway. So that's what's going on. I didn't feel like getting all dressed up and putting on a nice shirt and curling my hair. So we're just keeping it real for today. So anyway, it's late at night. I like to sort of decompress at night. I was browsing on Marketplace and I found something that I have been looking for. So you may remember a while back, if you follow my channel, I ordered, I was looking for two chairs or two recliners. They were originally going to be for here in the kitchen and or the living room. We just wanted two recliners so we could prop our feet up. So I had ordered these chairs that I saw on walmart.com and I read hundreds of reviews, literally like so many reviews about how amazing these chairs were. And so I had ordered them and they got here. I took one out, put it together and I was like, this is not happening. They looked okay but they were not the quality that I was after. I knew they wouldn't last very long. They were inexpensive. Uh, I think maybe 300 a piece. I can't recall, but they weren't very expensive for a recliner. That's not very much. Long story short, I sent them back and I've been on the hunt ever since. And so we were looking and looking and looking and we were finally just like, let's just break down. Let's bite the bullet and buy these recliners that they had at Haverty's. I don't like recliners. I don't like the big poofy furniture. I know they're comfortable. I just don't like it. I personally just, I only, I like certain furniture and the way certain things look. And I knew if I put two oversized big poofy recliners in the living room, I would never be able to decorate the way that I want to. So I'm trying to find a compromise. And so the only ones that I found that I kind of liked were from Haverty's and they retail for $17.99 a piece. So $1,800 plus tax each. And we were going to make the investment. And so we went there last year and we sat in the samples that were on the floor and they were still kind of stiff. So they kind of like pushed your shoulders forward. They were round and they kind of pushed your shoulders forward a little bit. And we did like them and it was going to take, I forget how many weeks to get them in at the time. I don't know if it was nine or 12 weeks. I don't know. There was a long wait to get these chairs in. So we were like, well, it's going to be almost four grand, you know, whatever it was going to be. But with when, by the time you had tax and everything, it was going to be too expensive for what I like to spend for two chairs. So anyway, we decided to wait and I've just been looking ever since. Well, one of those chairs popped up on Marketplace, just one by itself, and it went, I think, for $700, 7 or 750 and it went really quickly because that's less than half of what they call new, and it was in great shape. So I missed that one. And so I found an entire living room set of furniture. It was a couch, two, two recliners, two of those Haverty's Miller recliners, and like a coffee table and two end tables. Well, I didn't want any of the other stuff. They were they weren't asking much for all of it together. So I messaged the guy and I said, would you sell the two recliners separately and how much do you want? So he got back to me and he was like, yes, I will. And 
X amount for the chairs. You're going to just, you're not going to believe what he was asking for these chairs. It was, it was amazing. So anyway, we agreed upon the, we agreed upon the price and had to drive two hours to pick them up in Greenville. And so let me show you the chairs. And I'm just going to tell you that they are in great condition. There are some fading, a couple little scratches, no big deal. I'm going to either recolor or just condition the leather. They are faded, but I love the way it looks. But let me show you these chairs and how they look. They're here in the living room, picked them up yesterday. So let's first take a look at these chairs and then I'm gonna show you the day got better. Even after this amazing deal on these chairs, the day got even better. So let me show you these chairs. But first let me tell you, we got these chairs for $250 for both of them. $125, I didn't even negotiate that price. I didn't even have to ask him if he would take any less. He could have told me $500 a piece. And I think we still would have gone and gotten the chairs because it's, I mean, it's a fraction, a fraction of the cost, even at $1,000. But for $250 for both chairs was absolutely amazing. I can't even stand myself right now. I'm so excited and I'm so grateful. You guys, it pays to be patient, but it also pays to be diligent and to act quickly. If you see something on Marketplace and you like it or you see it in a store, do not walk past it and at least pick it up and put it in your cart or have them hold it or whatever and think about it because someone else will come along and swoop it up and make a decision when you are hesitating. And so anyway, let's look at the chairs. So here are those chairs. I absolutely love them. I don't think I've been more excited about a marketplace find than about these chairs. Uh, just the savings is unbelievable. $125 a piece, $250 for two leather recliners from Haverty's, and they're in fantastic condition. There's minor scratches here and there, which they're going to get scratches here because we have two cats and we just live in our furniture. We're not like super picky with everything. And anyway, the color is a little bit faded here, but I'm going to get those repair kits and... Well, they're not really repair kits. It's a recoloring balm and it restores the color. You can get it in all different shades. And so I'm going to try that. It's supposed to be more like that color. I actually really like it faded. It looks pretty cool. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, you know, I'm all about distressing and aged and aged looking finishes and all that. So anyway, there they are. They do recline pretty far. I'm not going to pull them out right now. I am going to have to rearrange the living room. So I will be sharing that in an upcoming video, but I just wanted to show you um, what I finally found. And I'm so excited about it for an amazing deal. You guys have to keep your eye out on Marketplace. I saved about $3,300 by being patient and being diligent and, you know, keeping an eye out on Marketplace. And when you see something, you really need to just go ahead and get it because somebody else could have snatched these up very quickly. And I'm so glad that this time it was me and they're exactly what we wanted. I also wanted to show that these two lumbar pillows came with the chairs and they are down filled. I have already taken these covers off and I put them in the dryer with a dry L sheet. So I did a at home dry cleaning because it said to do the covers and dry cleaning. Those were made in America. Fantastic. I mean, just those two pillows alone probably would have cost $25 or $40. Now on this seat, there were a couple of spots. So I am going to clean the leather and condition it, even if I don't recolor the leather. I'm still going to clean them. But overall, like I said, they're in fantastic condition. So just wanted to show you that we got those pillows also. And I love the color of them. So we were going to be running up to Greenville. It's two hours away. I thought, let's go a little early so I can pop in one of my favorite consignment stores up there. It's an upscale consignment store. If you know me and you watch my channel, you know I love upscale consignment stores. They get name brand pieces in, very unique pieces, antiques, high-end pieces. I mean, you can get some really great deals on things. So 
The store is called Southern Hospitality, and I decided to stop in there before we picked up the chairs. Now, I didn't have enough space to get anything large that day, uh, maybe going back, but I did get a few small things. But let me take you on a quick tour of this store. The ladies were so sweet and gracious to let me film. I just purchased a few things and then I asked if I could film so that you could see where I got these items and you may want to stop by there. So I will link all of their contact information, store information, Facebook page, all of that good stuff in the description box below. But for now, let's take a quick tour of Southern Hospitality. I don't know if I said hospitality earlier, but it's Southern Hospitality, not hospitality. So if you do any searches for it, you need to put house in hospitality.
Isn't that store amazing? They have so many great things. Their inventory changes every day. They get new stuff in every day. You can follow their Facebook page if you'd like to try to keep up. I don't know if a lot of times in those consignment stores, they don't even bother posting if stuff comes in and it immediately gets sold. So you really have to be diligent and keep your eye out for any specific pieces that you want. A lot of these stores will keep a list if you're on the hunt for certain things like a sectional or a certain kind of sofa or whatever. So if they get one in, they'll usually give you a call. You can ask them if they'll do that. I know Birdhouse does that's in Columbia that I love, love that store. So anyway, that's just a thought if you're on the hunt for a specific piece. It is worth the drive if you happen to be in or around the Greenville area. Make sure you stop in and tell them that you saw them on the paint itself. So now let's take a look what I purchased from Southern Hospitality. I love these items. I, I wanted to get some more things, but like I said, I didn't have enough space. I barely had enough space to get what I did purchase into the back of my SUV with those two recliners because I had to take the back off the recliner and slide everything and tuck it all in there. But everything I got fit in there. So let me show you what I purchased from their store. I purchased this at Southern Hospitality. It's one of the first things that I picked up. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this texture and all of the colors. Oh, I just love it. And I can use it for multiple seasons. I may leave it like this, I'm not sure. We'll see how things go when I finish this room. But for now, with that blue on the back, I'm going to use it like that. And I did get two more pillows. Let me show those to you. These next two pillows are much larger, and they are this beautiful kind of terracotta colors. You know I love those colors. I love terracotta pots and using that color. I love the any brick color, as you can see with my faux brick wall back there. But I just really love these, and I think that they'll go really great through any season of the year. And I love that print on there with the little cherubs. And the lady with her fruit basket. I don't know if this print has any significant meaning or if it's called anything. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I just knew that I loved it. And so I picked up those two. All right, so these next two items, my husband specifically said, do not buy those lamps. And I just couldn't understand why he didn't like them. He was like, they're so ugly. And I'm like... I love these lamps. And so I, I wore them down. I wore them down. He just didn't like the lamps and I just fell in love with them. I love like vintage fruit topiary type things. Anyway, let me just show you these lamps. You, you may think that they're gross, but I would love to hear your comments. If you just let me know in the comments below what you think of these lamps, but uh, let me show them to you. All right, I had to set them on the floor. They're very heavy but I brought them out here because of the color. Now, first of all, they were a great price. They were on final markdown. If you know how consignment stores work, every, I think, 30 days, they reduce the price and then they go on final clearance or whatever. So, oddly enough, who, I don't know why these didn't sell, but they were on final clearance. That one is chipped, which uh, I don't care because I'm going to refinish these. I do love the color the way they are, but like I said, they're, they're, there's another chip. They're, there's a little bit of damage, so I purchased them with the intention of at least touching them up, if not completely repainting them. But I love them. I found similar ones online, all different price points. But the shades alone to me were worth what I paid for these lamps. They are a gorgeous shape. They're in phenomenal condition. Let me step back. Look how big those lamps are. Anyway, I just love them. And I just, I just think that they're such a neat, unique lamp. And I'm really wanting to start expressing my personality and buying things that I like and that I think are interesting instead of just things that are you would expect to see. And I think that's really good to do in your home. You know, it's good to just get things that might be unexpected or that really speak to you instead of just buying what other people think should be in your home. That's just, that's kind of no way to live. And it's really boring if you ask me. So anyway, I loved those lamps. 
I have an obsession for lamps anyway. I'm either going to refinish the bottom completely or at least touch up what's there as they are chipped. I'm getting close here. Isn't that finish beautiful just the way it is? I really don't know if I want to paint over that part. Um, I could just touch up these little areas that are chipped. Let me know what you guys think about the finish on these lamps and if I should redo them all, leave them as is, or just go ahead and do something great over all of it. So anyway, those are the lamps. Okay, and the last thing that I got from Southern Hospitality was this really heavy iron candelabra. It is heavy. I just thought it was a really unique piece and it would look beautiful either outside or inside on my entry table and decent size candle will go in there or you know I could put little pots in there and do you know four little plants but I'll probably use it for candles I just really liked it uh, I like the green color for now I mean it's fine it's a little you know factory looking but I think that it's fine the way it is. It's just a really unique piece and I like really like iron, any kind of metal pieces mixed with warm woods and different things. So anyway, that's the last piece that I got. So again, I got the candelabra, the two lamps, that pillow, and these two pillows. And that's all for now, but if you looked at any of the footage from the store, you'll know that there were a lot more things that I could have totally come home with. So I definitely want to get back there and check them out. Now, as far as the table goes, I had to take a pause on it because I, I painted several layers. You know, I like to layer my paints and I just had to stop. We had some visitors come over. I had to clean up the kitchen, rearrange some things. And so um, I'm still debating on the top. My husband said to leave it as is. He really likes that color. So I'm... I'm still debating on where I want this to end up. I I always layer everything, but I'm not exactly sure what I want the real finished look to be as far as like the color. And so I just kind of paused. Uh, the, the bolts are down there because I took them out of the top so I could pull the top off and take it outside to, to strip. But I'm just pausing on that for a little bit and I will get that done and I will share that with you. But I'm liking the way it's it's looking so far. It's going to have some, some good color to it. So that's that. And then I wanted to show you one more thing. So in the last video, I mentioned about this couch and I was looking for a shorter one. I'm still on the hunt. I had listed this on Marketplace and I had some interest, but I removed it because I don't think I want to get rid of it. I, I thought about it and I really like it. And um, these pillows are from Home Goods. They have... A little bit of blue and these beautiful colors that I love this kind of goldish I don't know how it's coming across on your screen but it's a like an interesting deep golden yellow and then just a little bit of gray light blue and white and then a hint of black which is in my decor on marketplace the other day I found this gorgeous console table and the lady would not negotiate. You know, I like to try to get a good deal on things, but she had so many people interested and I was like, I, I want it. I, I love this table. It's totally our style. I love anything with black rolled iron and obviously it's throughout our house. I like having it throughout the house for that European style. And the top is just beautiful. Look at these colors. It's yellows and golds and browns. Now, a lot of people just really move away from this because they want everything white, and I understand that. But if you're like us and you love color and all of those just beautiful, rich, European, Italian, French colors, then you might like this. And I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Just absolutely love it. Browns and golds and yellows. So... It was perfect and I had to have it. Well, I tried to turn on some light, but there's it's just too backlit. It's really bright outside today. So I'll have to come in at an angle. But anyway, that's 
that's that table and I tucked it here in this window. I did steam clean the curtains. They look beautiful. I know it's really hard to tell in this video, um, but they, they turned out really great. I might hit them again. The wrinkles have really softened, but overall when you stand back, you don't really notice and I don't mind a little bit. The only thing I don't like is seeing that floor vent. So this table probably isn't gonna stay here anyway. If for some reason it does, I'm going to have to cover that. I'll have to put some kind of basket or plants back there or something like that. So that's that. And oh, someone asked me, I actually replied, and I've forgotten your name. I'm so sorry. But someone asked me about the little curtain rods up there. Those are from Hobby Lobby. And they came with the big iron hooks on them. I think it's more like a pot rack or a towel bar. I don't, I forget what they call it, but I just took those off and I put little black curtain rings on there and I use them here because we don't have to pull the curtains across for privacy here. And so I really like that stationary type curtain look and that's all we needed. So I got those from Hobby Lobby. You can get them half off for, you know, not very much. I think $12.99, something like that. They're, they're inexpensive. And so anyway, temporarily, I just set these up here. I just put a couple of plants and those green candlesticks and stuff. It's not going to stay this way. But like I said, we had company coming over. So I just threw that together. And then that little swan is not going to go there. But I have that little swan and... A few other really large ones that are packed up still so I have to find out where they are for summer decor okay so I just went to that little thrift store that's only open on Wednesdays and Fridays I only had 20 minutes to shop so I did get a couple of things there score some of them are clothing brand new clothing and uh, I got a couple lampshades so I will show those to you I'm going to stop in I think one more place so whatever I find at the next place and um, what what I just got I will show you that in just a minute when well actually I'm going to go to the gym so for you it'll be just a second for me it'll be probably an hour and a half or so so I'll show you what I found at these thrift stores mm -hmm. So this is one of the lampshades that I got while I was at the thrift store. There's a little spot right there, which I couldn't see because it was in the bag, but it's not a big deal. It was $5 and it's in really good shape other than that one little spot. And it has this really pretty woven texture. So I didn't think that $5 was that bad. And I like to pick up lampshades that I like when I can, when they're a good deal, because they're hard to find a lot of times and they, are, they can get expensive. This piece keeps falling down, but I think it's, yeah, that'll be fine once I put it on an actual lamp. So I got that one, and then I got this one, and I'm not going to open it up right now. It was $3, and it is just an off-white bell shape uh, lampshade. It's in, it looks like it's in brand new condition, so there are ones, this one's a little bit smaller than that one, but again, I love picking these up because I, I do find lamps at thrift stores that have no shade. So I like to grab these when I can and they're both neutral. So I got those. Okay. So this brand, it is, I think, Pico. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I got a shirt just like this one and I went ahead and grabbed another one. Now it is, this one is a large this fabric is so stretchy and comfortable it's amazing and i love that shirt so much it's very flowy i know you can't really see and this is a t-shirt in the same flowy fabric it's got a little bit of a cuff on the sleeve i would try these on and show you what they look like on but i just came from the gym and i need a shower so i'm not going to put these on um, this one was only three dollars and that one was seven. This one still has the tag on it. So it was 28. 
And this is a cute little, like, I'd say an olive green, army green dress. It was only $5. I don't know if it'll fit. She said if it doesn't, I can bring them back and exchange it. So that one's like a little, like a half sleeve, not quite three quarter, a small dress. And then this is a pink dress. And I love this color pink. And again, with the shorter sleeves. So it's really cute. They are so comfortable. And this one was only $4. I don't know who priced these. They're totally random. But anyway, so this dress was $4. I, if I get a chance, I will try these on sometime and show them to you how they look. So anyway, I got all of those also at the thrift store. And then I did go buy my local store. It's a little boutique. It's called Sweet Simplicity. I have done a tour of that store. I didn't get any footage today, but let me show you what I found. Okay, we're just going to pull it right out of the shopping bag. So I got one of these little balls, um, like the little half balls. It was $8.95. I have some of the long, uh, it's not garland, but I have like the sprays. And I, well, I'll show you. I have them over here in this pot, but it matches those. I only saw one of these, so I grabbed it, but um, I would, I would like to have two of them. But let me show you what the spray looks like. So it matches this kind of spray. I guess that's what you would call it. And they look really pretty from spring, summer, and into fall because they, they do have a little bit of color variation there on the end. So anyway, I really like these and. This is, I have this over, over here where the table is, so ignore that. So anyway, I haven't really been decorating. I've been pulling out things to decorate. I'm trying to get my big pieces in place first, but I have some natural elements here. I got these at a thrift store. I don't remember if I hauled these or not, but they were a dollar. They're kind of like a wreath form, but I thought I could do something really cool with that and make, um, you know, just something like a centerpiece. I got two of those. But you can just take something like this and, you know, plop it anywhere like that. There's my two rings in the way. So, and I love these candles. I also got these at Sweet Simplicity. They just turn. They're battery operated and they kind of flicker. I don't know if you can tell. So, you can just spin them. And then I, I have the tall ones. And I like using these for fall, but I'm really finding that I like them all year. They have different colors, and in the spring they had some really pretty colors. But anyway, I got one of those that matches that, so let me show you what else I got. Okay, I also found a little bird's nest. Now, I have made these myself. You can also get them at Hobby Lobby. This size, um, the size was $5.95, and it, I don't have this exact size. I know you can make these, but I, I like how it lays like that. It's, you know, you can tuck it down in something, but it'll kind of sit like that. And I thought about tucking this in somewhere on the front porch. We actually have a bird making a nest in our wandering Jew, and it was a huge mess because the cat jumped up and tried to get the bird. Anyway, <laughs> I, uh, I had to move it, but I'm not sure if it's going to keep its nest in there or not, but... Anyway, I might put one of these on the porch or use it for the inside. I love bird's nests, and that one's really cute with the moss. And then they also had this really unique size of terracotta pots. Well, I thought they were unique. They're little squatty ones. Aren't they adorable? So cute. Um, yeah, they're only $4.95. And they're just, I just like the size. I like... I, you might not be able to tell, but they're they're just they're squatty. I could measure it, but anyway, they're they're just really cute. So I got two of these because I thought that's just too adorable, and I like varying the size of my pots in arrangements. I don't know if I'm going to put those on the porch. They're I might use them inside so they don't get yucky out there. So the next two things that I got, I really love. I've been eyeballing these. I actually went in for. A set of green ones but they were sold out you guys have to buy things when you see them because if you don't they're gone and then they, you know it's a boutique so it's not really like Hobby Lobby she she does everything seasonally and gets things in and out and in and out so when they're gone they're gone and she gets new inventory but this is the 
I don't really know how to say that. Ragon House, Ragoon, whatever. Um, they were a little bit pricier. This one was 30 and this one was 20 but they're a really awesome shape. And I did get 20% off. You get points as you shop there. So I had a 20% off coupon available and I went ahead and used it for this purchase. So not too bad. I don't know. I just think the shape is really cool. They're metal and anyway, I just like all of that right there. So I need to get some cool candles to go on those. Love those. And then I picked up one of these wax melts. This one is orange clove. It smells so good. I got rid of all of my other wax melts. Certain ones just give me a headache. I can't, like the ones from Walmart, I don't know. It just, sometimes they give me a headache. So this one smells really amazing. And I just got one to try to see if it, if it gave me a headache or not. It was only $2.50. So these are handmade and I like supporting local artisans. Okay, and the last things that I got there were these silicone candle bulbs. Now, I don't think these flicker at all, which would have been nice, but they have a really nice glow to them. And these were $5.95 for two. And I have a lot of those, I guess they're called friendship lights or the light you get at Christmas because these have the smaller base. So um, anyway, I'm gonna try, I have an idea for probably for the fall to use these and redo some candle things. And then anyway, they also had these and these are only six watts. And I just thought they were so cute. And I thought these would look adorable in a little night light. So anyway, I just, I picked up um, two of these as well. If you guys can, please support your local businesses. I know we can all get good deals sometimes at the big box stores, but I really enjoy shopping locally and supporting you know local residents and small businesses so if you can try to do that but this is what i got at sweet simplicity they have great stuff if if i can maybe later on in the year i will do another fall tour or something she's already getting a little bit of fall stuff out but still has like fourth of july i'll link her page and everything in the description box below so you can check out their online store and you'll see the address and you can get there and see what all she has well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you loved everything that I found. I like to find unique items and I hope that you do too. It's so fun to go thrifting and to consignment stores and even searching on Marketplace. Marketplace, you can look through thousands of items without even leaving your home. So you're not just spending hours and hours driving around and trying to find what you're looking for. So I really enjoy shopping that way. And I hope that you find some amazing things as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out on the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss the next video. Please take care of yourselves and until the next video, bye for now. Mm -hmm.